bonsai is growing so well at the moment. Give a little trim here. It's the way, mate. Ooh, that's that. Oh, you're going to grow up to be such a big little tree. Ooh, wee. That's that. Clear the country back. Ooh, Ooh wee. wee. How'd you get in my room? You need a plastic? No, I don't want yeah, a sidekick. Yeah, I got the deal for you. Ooh, wee. That's that. Crazy Clarence has got a crazy, crazy sale on today. That's right, Crazy Clarence is back again with a crazy, crazy sale. Not as a class this time, it's sidekicks. That's right, Crazy Clarence and sidekicks sale. Down at Crazy Clarence and sidekicks sale, we have a huge range of sidekicks. We have seal sidekicks. Ha! Ah, ah, I'm not a sidekick! No! No! Horse sidekicks. <laughs> <laughs> Big boob sidekick. Bass sidekick. Huh? I'm a sidekick? Why does this wig smell like cordial? Uh. We have a huge range of different kinds of sidekicks at Clarence's Sidekick Sale. So why don't you come down today at Clarence's Cloud, I mean Sidekick Sale? Ah, uh, stuff this, I'm going prospecting. Okay, what's your full name? Small kind of water. Gadsy here, Buckshot Prospector. I hope you're well. And I hope life is treating you well. I'm on an expedition today to try and locate some some gold and possibly some gems and agates. We'll just we'll just have to wait and see what we will come across today. Um I'm gonna explore a section of a creek that I haven't really uh really explored that much so um yeah let's just see how we go it's it's a hot day today things are heating up we had a lot of rain a couple of days ago yeah things have gotten a bit bit uh, humid that's the word I'm looking for humid not humorous yeah so it's very sweaty out here today so my plan is to try and locate a couple of new deposits um, this area in the past has been pretty damn good in places, in places, it's sort of near Bonanza City, or the first original ban Bonanza City. Yeah, there is good gold here, you just have to try and try and search a fair bit. I'm hoping that the creek hasn't gone up too much since the rains. We had about 70 millimetres, so we'll just wait and see what it looks like. The water's looking still a bit murky at the moment. I was hoping it would be clearer today, but it's not. Bugger. Oh well, um, let's have a poke. Let's poke around and poke. I hope your day has been going well, and that whatever, whatever ails you isn't bothering you. You've got a big smile on your face, and all that jazz. And if not, put a big smile on your face. Because as I say, it tricks your body into releasing all the good stuff. So we got around. Got some gravel bars. Nice area for the gold to catch around here. What do we got over here? It's down there. Uh, nah. Not exactly what we're looking for, but. Yeah. Oh no. I've got to keep my peepers sharp too. I might find some maggots today. I'm going to test this section first because it's when it's in high flood, this would be an area that will kind of cause the gold to drop out. There was clay there. There would be a high chance that there would be gold there. No clay. So my chances of actually getting any gold are pretty slim. That's what prospecting is. You have to test and test and test. If you don't test, you won't figure out where to keep on digging. There's no point in just getting one or two specks in a pan and then deciding, oh yeah, I'm gonna high bank that. Because you'll find that you just waste your time and your energy. Nah. For here. 
just do one off the top surface. That might give us a good idea what's underneath it. One speck. So we do have gold there. Nothing. So I've travelled right upstream and just been testing all the way up. I haven't really found anything, but I did come across this. How cool is that agate? Just an, a white one. That is wicked. Now I did discover a spot, and I know this spot from another YouTuber. I'm pretty sure it's um, another YouTuber spot. Graham from On The Gold. Man, if this is you, God, now I, I can understand why it was such a bugger to try and move this slab. That is ridiculous. I always wondered where you were digging. Now I know, but don't worry, man. It's all good. I'm not going to touch it, man. Last time I walked from the top end of this area down just above here, and the whole way I wasn't getting any gold. So, <laughs> um, I think what I need to do is just go back down. I do know of a spot, so I think I might have to go there because so far I've just had no luck trying to find any gold. So yeah, I'll go back there. You're not seeing me doing all the walking. I've already walked about oh, at least about 2K, 3K to this spot. And I did most of that in sweatpants. So I'm telling you, it's getting sweaty in here. You don't want to be in these pants. My juicy pants are getting very, very juicy. Right. Been doing a bunch of test pans further on downstream. And I think I finally found a spot. It's taken hours just to find something that's got a decent spec count. I'm hoping it will be good. It looks as though people have been working around it, but not really in the most obvious spot which is good because they overlooked it now a lot of the tracks on Reedy Creek are being properly blocked off now spots like this are going to become richer again you know I can understand why they did the blocking off of the tracks just because people leave their trash and everything around and don't really care I'll show you where I'm at. So I've got a whole bunch of cascades coming down through here. A lot of boulders and what have you. And I've done one test pan out of here. And yeah, the gold's looking good. I'd say there's about 30 specks there. And that was just on the surface. So yeah, we'll give this a shot and see how we go. Maybe. Okay, there's about 50 there. Yeah. Oh, it's taken forever to find some gold. I finally got some though. Yes. We are getting some of those uh, crystal clusters that are all smashed up. That's always a good sign. The gold is looking pretty damn consistent here. So about the same yabby pumping. This is looking really good. We got the cane bedrock and clay. Let's hope this is a good pan. I've got a feeling it will be. Yeah, not that good. Yeah. So I've been doing a whole bunch of testing. We've got like a tree that's under here, like a root of a tree. Underneath it, the gold's all right. Around this sort of pocket here, that's probably where the best gold is. As I've gone out through here, there's a bit of a pay streak, but it's not super rich, like maybe 15 and then it drops off to five. So I think what I'll try and do is just get enough gold out of here nothing nothing crazy or anything but enough to not to put a smile on my face i guess 
It's a bit of a lazy day, but not really because I've walked so far, just test panning and test panning. Just doing the prospecting thing, and yeah, I finally found a spot. So. Alright, I've dug out some weird rocks in my time, but this, what the hell is that? Look how red it is. What is it? I have no idea what that is. It's kind of, looks a bit agony too. What the hell is that? I don't know what that is. That is going in my front pocket. I put it in my front pocket right up there. I've never seen anything like that before. What the hell is that? Why is it so red? About five specks. Under that log, it's dropped off a heap. There's only like five specks in there. I think it might have just been a pocket and yeah, it's something that was just missed. Yeah, I'm pretty stuffed after doing all that walking and working and not getting much cold. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is call for today. Um, yeah. Ugh. I wish I was on it straight away, but nah, not today. Today has been a real struggle, but that's just how it goes. So, um, yeah, I'll be going out prospecting or doing something in the next couple of days, so I will see you then. Right, that's one day done, Eddie. Now, just to have a bit of relaxation, what should I do? Oh, well, the room dredge. Have some fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I am out on a hunt today. I'm looking for apparently a bottle dump somewhere around here. Don't know if I'll find it. The reason why I'm going and looking for this damn bottle dump is there might be some relics around here too. I have found a bottle dump. Not the kind of bottle dump that I'm looking for. Someone's left their trash out here. Good for them and their laziness. They, they should get top marks for being so bloody lazy and destroying the environment with their trash. So, where was I? Um, yeah, I'm trying to find this bottle dump. Now, what I was told, one of my friends uh, was planting trees out, out this way, pine trees clearly, about 15, 20 years ago. And he said that he came across this bottle dump and there was just heaps of bottles everywhere, all over the ground. So I'm hoping that I'll come across it. Now I'm needing to try and find pine trees that are about 15 years old. So we'll, we'll have a look. There used to be a whole lot of miners around this area because there's a lot of mines in the district. And um, yeah, there was sort of small townships as well around here. So I'm hoping that I'll come across uh, where they may have been sort of set up and everything. So now what he did say it was sort of down in a gully somewhere. And it's a bit off, off track. Now, I don't know if these trees are about 15, 20 years old. They kind of look like they might be. I don't know what the average uh, growth rate of a pine tree is. They kind of look like they are about right, don't you think? Yeah, I haven't really found it yet. Um, no real signs of any human uh, life. Like old human life. Keep on looking, but at this point, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack or a needle in a pine forest, I guess. Hey, <laughs> get that? There's some diggings around here. There's also something else here. 
in the middle of nowhere. An outback gunny with a light. So if you want to do a poo, here you go. How cool's that? I don't know why that's here. It's a bit random, but why is that there? Dunny there, and yet still people do poos here. Can't wipe up their butt. Well, they can wipe their butts, I just can't seem to put their toilet paper in the ground either. Right, so I haven't found it. <laughs> I walked around for a fair bit of time and nothing. No signs of any bottles on the ground or anything, so I really need to get the friend that told me about it out with me so he can remember where it is because yeah, going in some pine forest you get lost pretty easily if you don't know where you're going hold on I think we found some bottles milk bottles oh we do have some old bottles here what's that say Mitchell and Co Belfast Do have old bottles. I think this may be the spot that my mate was talking about and he said it was in a gully I think that might be the gully and it's covered in blackberries but there is glass and ceramics all through here just littering all the surface oh is that a full I think that might be full is it full is it Moda something Henley. It's probably for oil. So yeah, you can see that there's ceramics all over the ground here. No real uh, metal signals though, that's the thing. It's a shame. We do have old gin bottles, like the necks of them. Yeah, I think uh, this is a bit of a flop, this spot. I thought it was going to be all right, but um, yeah, I think those blackberries have kind of covered up whatever was there. Um, but it's witty, he was saying that there was like full, full bottles there. And it was a bit out of the way too, so. All right, stuff it. We're going to go to another location now and um, test out doing some uh, detecting for gold so um, what I know there's a few mines up at this area that um, I'm gonna go to and hopefully we find something this is what prospecting is really of metal detecting as well it's just driving around you get tips from people where to actually go and have a look or you just do a bit of research online Best thing to do is do your own research. Don't just rely on people like us to show you how to actually find a location or whatever. We'll give you some pointers, but don't come to the spots that we've been at because that just takes the fun out of actually finding something yourself. It's such a thrill to actually find something by yourself without anybody else's help. It, like 
sharing knowledge is one thing, but when it comes to locating your own own spot, that's something completely different. And I encourage anyone that's starting out doing prospecting or metal detecting to just get out there and just look. Shout out time. This week's shout out is going to Slim Diggings. Digger does a lot of detecting, mainly for relics, but he does a bit of gold detecting as well. And man, he finds a lot of coins and some really cool stuff. So I highly recommend that you go over, watch all his videos, give him a like and subscribe, help him get those numbers up and everything like that. Always support one another out in the community and always stay humble. Right, so I'm at the next area. I've just come across a whole bunch of shafts. There's one there one here and they're nicely blocked off a few tailings poles around here these shafts are really deep and from uh there there was some drill tests done around this area and i think uh the area where the gold was was about 400 foot down um so yeah, it was a Canadian uh, group that went and did this and did some testing around here. So, yeah, very, very deep gold. But it does not look like anyone's really been around here. We've got another... Shit. We've got another shaft there. We've got another one here. They may have been following a vein on the other side and seeing if it comes back up and over the ridge. I'd hazard to guess, though, right down in the gully there if you dug down deep enough you probably would find some decent gold so i'm going to get my uh algo force out see how we go hopefully we find some gold maybe not we don't know hopefully we are successful in finding some gold today i really hope i am because the last few times i've gone out which you haven't seen have been not that good to say the least Alright, I've got my backpack, I've got my backpack on. Any OG Avalanches fans, before they were big, will know what I was meaning when I sung that backpack song. I saw Avalanches with Public Enemy, Avalanches with their support band. That was the most craziest party I've ever been to. Um, Flavor Flav stage dived and like I touched Flavor Flav and Chuck D as well um, but yeah Flavor Flav there's people just like grabbing at him and everything and they're trying to pull down his pants and everything he was more concerned about his damn clock he didn't care about anything else it was his clock he was trying to protect his clock so yeah I got to touch Flavor Flav <laughs> I'm so happy about that I'm sure there's some Public Enemy fans out there and there's got to be all right uh, let's get this do a frequency scan still getting used to this detector <laughs> I'll get there one day don't worry I'll sort it out We got something the scoop for a change. Just a bit of iron. That's just ground balance. in it. What the hell? This does not look like something that you would expect gold to be in. I do have a target up here. It's ringing up as a 44. That's not really um, iron or anything like that. So yeah, we'll see what it is. When 
one of those dummy um, 50 cal um, bullets. It's made of plastic. Yeah, um, I think they're a dummy round or they could possibly be for um, a charge. I can't get over the amount of shafts that are around here and the depth of them. Man, they must have been big boys because look at this. Let's do the test. Oh, that's deep. That's really deep. Now, um, I'm starting to think that maybe these might be air shafts because they would have needed them. Such deep, deep ground. This is what I'm looking for. Look at all that quartz. Oh, look at that vein running through there. My God. This is the stuff. We got a 15 to 17. That's loud. Oh no, bit of iron. I just noticed something in this wall. No, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Look at that vein. It goes from there all the way over to there that's probably two three meters wide holy shit that's what they were chasing wow look at these piles oh so these tailings piles are looking very promising i noticed that and then along here too you can see where they've chased it along the veins there, they're following it all the way down. So you can see where the, this side there's some quartz here and that side. So they just took the entire vein out completely. That's insane. I've never seen it, a vein that big before, ever. The quartz on the ground's a bit mineralized. There's some really nice, there is a bit of nice mineralized stuff in amongst it. Nothing crazy. So yeah, we've got another uh, lot of mines down here. So all the way up, they were chasing it. I was not expecting to come across this and not something that big. That is just, whoa. wow. So I'm going to get my detector onto this. Oh, look at this quartz. Whoa. Look at that. That's the good stuff. I reckon the crusher would have been down in the gully down here somewhere. So they were carting it from here all the way down there. But yeah. I still can't get over that quartz, man. That's just insane. Right, let's get to detecting this mullet pile. there It's out. I'm hoping to God. My camera is starting to overheat too, so I just hope it's still recording. Oh, come on, baby. Give us some gold. I had it in the scoop before. Alright. I'll put this somewhere. 
just in case I'll put it right here come on be gold oh, you you ah uh, lead shot normally they're supposed to ring up as double zero it's ringing up as zero four so uh, yeah. not much luck today sadly a few targets but nothing nothing a right to the queen about dear dead queen i found some lead shot a bullet casing a bit of iron that was about it hope you're going well in your grave see you queen Oh, I think what I'm going to do is get back home, have a bit of a nap, and then go out prospecting in the next couple of days. I might try and get Chris to come here. I'll see what happens. So I will see you then. And I'm back. I've decided to come out uh, down to the creek again today. And I'm going back to a spot that I didn't really properly clear out, but there was some more right gold there. So... I'm hoping uh, no one's come along and poached it. We've had some success in around this area before. Uh, you'll know once you see this area, but um, yeah. I'm hoping that it's still good. So we'll get down to the creek, check it out, we'll see how it goes. Right, so this is the area. We have a whole bunch of clay sort of on one side. We've got these big bits of bedrock crevices running all the way through them going by this I've got a narrow channel going into a very wide channel so I think I need to focus on areas like this these little pockets now I did test around here in the past and along this side there was some decent gold through here I did a couple of shovels through here but I never actually yabby pumped it so I think what I need to do is yabby pump these get down to the good stuff and see what it looks like and then we'll go from there. So I'll go get my pan and we'll test this out. Oh, okay, that's looking really good. Just do one shuffle for the time being. Top gravels, 10 to 15 specs. That's a good sign. That's a really good sign. Same amount of black sand and gold. And not much gold either. About 30 specks of gold. So I've been doing a whole bunch of testing all around this area. It seems as though it's definitely concentrating on this side and around the bedrock there's like 10 to 30 specks around here that I could find. I haven't really been able to get over into that section because it's a bit too deep for me. But where my shovel is right there I did get a really nice pan with one single shovel so um, yeah I'm just going to uh, chill out for just a little bit and then we'll, uh, we'll see how we go. Hopefully I might find a pocket of goodness, one that just says, Hello Gaddy, I'm here. I'm here to give you some goodness. But we won't know until we actually dig it. So, <laughs> Yeah, so I'm just going to have a quick little break and then we'll get back to uh, digging some holes. I've had my little break. Now I'm going to uh, do some pants from this spot and we'll see what we get. I've been getting some decent gold here, so we'll, we'll have a look. We do have cobble coming down off this bank here and it's going into a deeper section, that sort of sandy clay stuff. What I'm doing is I'm just sort of scraping off the top of it. So we're getting that kind of stuff. I have to break it up with the shovel as well. Kind of solidifies in the pan again too, which makes it a bit hard to break up. So that's all right. That's a fair bit of flood gold. I did get a few nice little flakes in a few pans here and there, and I think that was a little bit up onto the bank. Picking up at least.
That's a bit better. We got about a hundred specks there. Yeah, babe. I'm still doing a lot of test painting and digging around just to try and locate where this pay streak is. It's a very strange one. It's not consistently going in one direction. I don't know if it's because of how this area is. It's a deep section. When the water comes flying through here, it swirls and around here. Now I was doing tests around here and I was getting okay pans, but they're hit and miss. So um, my guess for that is because if it's swirling, it's doing little pay streaks, but they're not all concentrated in one area. But it makes sense why we're getting gold on this edge here too. I haven't done that much filming so far. I've just been testing and that's about it. So just trying to work out this pay streak. Just keep on digging around. Hopefully we find this pay streak. It's been very sketchy. About 30 specs. About 50 specs. About 50 again. The gold is consistent, but it's inconsistent in the spec count here. There'll be um, some pans I'll get like 10, some pans I'll get like 50 to 100, and they're literally right next to each other. I'll get like 10, and then I'll get 100. It just it's not consistent. I think what's happening is there's there's probably multiple pay streaks, but they're so thin that's why I'm getting such weird weird inconsistent spec counts i'm still getting gold and i cannot complain about that because the gold price is really good at the moment and it's probably going to just keep on getting better um but yeah i just i don't know i'd just rather have a consistent like 100 spec pans that's what i'd, I'd really like but um i don't think i'm going to get that i've been doing all these tests around here but i haven't done something i haven't checked somewhere else yet cautious around here because i know it's deep so we've got bedrock here. Maybe. Hmm. Hey, a bit of fog go there. Hmm. Oh, okay, we've got some bottle there. Broken bottle. Yeah, still about 50. I did a lot of pans today and yeah, I didn't film that much. I just want to test out this area to see if the gold's still here. And it is here, but it's very spotty. It's good and then it's bad. So um, I think I'll have to come back to this spot and maybe do something a bit more with it. So yeah, um, I think I'm just going to call for today. So I'm going to head back home weigh up this gold so I will see you back at my place get back home weigh out this gold what is that thunder? I can't see any clouds around fatality Zero point three five. Yeah, I mean it's all right. I found one okay deposit, but the other one wasn't uh, the best. So yeah, but I was good exploring around, looking at different areas and that. So um, yeah, I think I'll definitely go back to those mines and maybe um, take Chris there and we can do some crushing or something there. So more exploring around there, I reckon. Um, yeah, good couple of days, I guess. Um, I should mention about Seal and all those guys, but uh, I can't 
remember what I did for my intro. <laughs> Side chick, not now, right? Not now. <laughs> Okay, side chick. Alright. Hopefully Chris doesn't find out. Um, yeah, so uh, maybe send some likes and subscribes to this bottle of water. Yeah, this bottle of water. It's got a small amount of water in it. Um, enough to keep you hydrated for a couple of minutes. So send some likes and subscribes. Go over to Facebook. Join me on Facebook or follow me on Facebook. Join Panhub if you want to do that. You don't have to do any of those things. It's all up to you. You've got your own life to live and your own choices to make, so you do you. I'll just send a hit squad out to come around to your house and make you uh, like and subscribe and do all that. So, um, yeah, I should also thank all these people. All these people kindly left donations in the last video. And as I said so many times before, I can't thank you enough for the support that you give and yeah, I really appreciate every single time, every single one of you do that because you're, you're awesome for doing that and you help me out so much. So bless all your cotton goods, bless your cotton plants. If you've got cotton plants, bless them too. So thank you all for doing that. And I should thank one other person who really went to a different level of just sending me something and that's Mad Marlin. Mad Marlin sent me a whole bunch of stuff. He sent me some lab grown silver, if you can see that. Some lab grown silver. A uncirculated 20, 2023's American Eagle coin. It's a bit hard to see with the reflection. How cool is that? He also sent me a proof of the same coin. And the coolest thing of all is the Great Australian Achievers uh, collector cards. <laughs> I, I, I was going through these. Man, we're really scraping the bar barrel for like Great Achievers. Uh, Maury Fields. Maury Fields. Really? He's an achiever? <laughs> I don't know why he's even in that. Oh, and he also said a quarter ounce Britannia sil silver and a one tenth ounce quarter silver as well. So, Mad, you are freaking awesome, man. I thank you. Thank you so much for doing that. I, I really have to somehow pay you back for doing that, man, because, yeah, you are. Yeah, that's just something else. I was not expecting all that, dude. So, you're awesome, man. So, um, yeah. Um, I think that's everything for this week. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, I hope you enjoyed this week's adventure. And I guess until next weekend, see ya! <laughs>